In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this looping animation of dots going on a path. This actually comes from a question from our After Effects course on Udemy. Taranji asks about this looping animation. Uh, great for some sort of, I guess, scientific videos or things like that. So I figured I'd show you how to do it. So we're going to walk through the whole process, but basically you're going to get a line, any kind of line, any shape with dots moving along it and in a looped path or a looped animation. So let's go ahead and create a new composition. Any size is fine. We're going to just make it five seconds though. Next, we're going to take our pen tool and you're going to want to set your stroke. Let's start with a just white stroke. And this will depend on the size of your, your composition, but we'll start with 10 pixels and click on fill and make sure you set that to none. Then just click and click and click and click and click, click and drag to create curves. And this will create your path. So that's our path that our dots are going to travel along. Next, I'm going to duplicate this shape. So just selecting the shape, press Command D. Now on the bottom one, I'm going to call this line. And then the top one, I'm going to call it dots. The bottom one, I'm actually going to change the stroke down to, we'll start with three, and I'm going to turn it off for now so we don't see it. Next for the dots, I'm going to drop down the properties drop down contents, drop down shape, and drop down stroke. Down at the bottom, it says dashes, just click the plus arrow twice, okay? And this is really all we're going to be working with for this animation. So we can set the gap and the number of dashes with these, these uh, numbers right here. So if you want more of a gap between your dashes, then you increase the gap. If you want more dashes or meaning the width of the dash, um, actually you can increase or decrease this. You can also change if you want the little dot to have a round edge by changing the line cap from butt cap to round cap, okay? So if you want just like a perfect circle, you can set the dash to zero. If you want these dots to be bigger, then just go back, select the dots layer, and then you're going to make the stroke bigger. So if we want big dots, say like something like that, you can go up to 29, but the dash is still zero. Next, we're just going to animate the offset. So let's just, at the very beginning of our time, click the stopwatch for offset, and then let's go forward to the end. And for now, we're just going to offset a bunch. Just go up to like 500 or so. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're just going to um, create a loop uh, that's not necessarily five seconds. But this will also change how fast it goes. So if you want it a little bit faster, let's go up to, say, 2,000. OK, something like that. Now, if we go back to our line and turn this on, whoops, this stroke changed. So we want to decrease this stroke now back to 3. And we can change the color if we want. Let's get that sort of neon pink or something. Now these dots are traveling along this line. OK, cool. So now we have the dots traveling along the line. It's simple dashes with a couple keyframes. Next, how, we, how do we loop this? Well, if I want an animated GIF, I just want the sort of the shortest um, possible loop so that I don't I have the smallest file. So basically, we just have to look at one of these dots, see where it is, and then put the endpoint there, and then go to the next time where a dot is at that point, and put the out point right there. Maybe nudge the out point one frame or so in or out just to test. Now, I'm sure there's some sort of more scientific way to do this with the numbers, just to see what is a perfect loop, but this is the way that I figured out how to do this. So now we have this looping image. It's literally just 12 frames or so. Now to export it as an animated GIF, we're going to go up to File, Export, Add to Adobe, Adobe Media Encoder Q. That's going to open up 
Adobe Media Encoder, which has more options for exporting like presets for animated GIFs. So let's wait till that opens up. We're going to go to our system presets over here, choose image sequence under GIF, just say animated GIF, or you can search for GIF if you want. We're just gonna hover over and replace this. So it's like so. We're going to put this on our desktop for now. And then just export. And now we have an animated video image clip that we can post online share on social media, share in an email, or do whatever you want with it. Cool. Well, thank you so much for the question. I hope this answers your question and helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions or if anyone else watching this has more tutorials or idea requests for me for videos. Let me know. Please subscribe and we'll see you in another video.